This video is sponsored by Chugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, June 23rd, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had three M-Class solar flares today. And by far the most interesting is the last one. Let's discuss these flares. Right around 700 UTC time, about midnight last night, central time, we had an M2.3 solar flare that was generated by sunspot AR3716. That is one of the sunspots going around the far limb. Now we talked about the spiral connection to that far limb with Earth. Second, we had an M1.2 solar flare right around 1130 UTC time. That's going to be about 5.30 this morning central time here in the U.S. Again, that was an M1.2 class solar flare that was generated by AR3712 also going around the far limb. The three sunspots that are all going around the far limb that we talked about. Now, the most interesting flare by far is the M9.36 solar flare that we had at around 1 UTC time or 100 UTC time. Now that happened around 7 a.m. and that was an M9.36 solar flare. It was generated by sunspot AR3723. Now, what's so interesting about that solar flare is that's the same sunspot group that has been around the solar disk three times now. This is the third time it will transit the Earth-facing side of the sun. This is old sunspot AR3664, AR3697, and now AR3723 unbelievably so she's back and she has been named and she just spat out an M9.36 solar flare just a few points away from an X flare this is the sunspot group that's produced all of the X flares over the last almost month today we have a 15% chance of an X class solar flare which has gone up a 60% chance of an M flare, which should be 100%. And since we're running a C baseline, and we have been for months, we have a 99% chance of having a C class solar flare, which should be a 100% chance. Now, to start the day off right, we started with a M 2.3 class solar flare at a 3716, a simple sunspot, lasted right about 32 minutes, peaking at 6.30. That was followed by an M 1.2 class solar flare from AR3712, also going around the far limb. And that lasted about 34 minutes, peaking at 11.37 or 5.37 this morning central time. Next, we had the large M 9.36 solar flare and that was a little bit shorter of a flare it looks like it lasts exactly 20 minutes peaking at 1300 utc time or 601 this morning central time here in the u.s all right over to hmi intensigram first off we have quite a few sunspots that are on the earth facing side of our solar disk Looks like we have 
around nine sunspots that are Earth facing. And one of those is AR3723. Someone got up early on a Sunday at NASA to name this one. This is Old Sunspot 3664 and Old Sunspot 3697. Now Sunspot AR3723. Already spitting out a flare that's almost X class. Unbelievable. Now NASA did do a report on this this morning saying how rare it was for this sunspot not to decay and break up and make it around three times. They don't remember ever seeing anything like this. They say the sunspot is much smaller, but still very magnetically complex. And this is the M9.36 solar flare out of 3723 and this is the report they did or a clip from the report they did this morning about how unbelievable it is it made it around for a third trip. It's going to be a busy week. So far we've really not had any problems although it's expelled numerous X-class solar flares. Earth has escaped all consequences thus far. Over to our D region absorption prediction center. This is going to be the M1.2 solar flare that popped off over Western Europe, over all of Africa and the Atlantic. That was from parting sunspot AR3712. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the M9.36 solar flare out of sunspot 3723, our old friend 3764. You can see this was a strong solar flare that popped off over Western Europe, Africa, the Atlantic, parts of Northern South America, and even parts of Canada. So this was a very strong solar flare. And I don't think it was eclipsed by the limb of the sun, but I would expect more activity, well, throughout the next 12 days, which is about how long it takes the sunspot to transit the Earth-facing side of our solar disk. Now, if we continue, we're running a strong sea flare the rest of the day, so everyone's getting their dose of radiation. No problem there. Remember, a little iodine in your diet never hurts. All right, now headed over to STO. First, over on the left at 193 Angstroms, we'll take a look at the M9.36 class solar flare, and there it was. Take another quick look at that. Right there, it doesn't look like much at 193 Angstroms. Let's take a look at that same explosion over here at 171 angstroms. I wish I had a little bit more here, but this is what we have. And we can take a look at the explosion right there. It's probably easier to see at 171 angstroms than it actually is at 193, which is something that is, well, doesn't usually occur. You can see the flare there. So... Even if it did generate a chrome mass ejection, it should not affect Earth based on its position. Although it will soon be Earth facing enough to be geoeffective towards Earth if it spats out a chrome mass ejection. All right, taking a look at the backside of our star here, believe it or not, AR 3723 is yellow here, 003. Now we also have a 001 coming around that should be named. They've named part of this, but this is going to break up into several sunspot groups. We also have 04 here in green, 05 here in blue, and in purple we have 06. Again, this is old sunspot group AR3664 also known as 3697, now known as 3723. And it does look like a large sunspot, although they said it looked like it had decayed quite a bit. 
All right, over to SDO HMI magnetogram image. You can really see what's going on. We have an earth facing sunspot that looks pretty complex to me. We also have the departing sunspots. This is going to be AR3612, a huge complex sunspot. If it goes off today, it would be geoeffective through the Parker spirals that we learned about yesterday. This is Sunspot Air 3716, not as complex, but the polarities are correct on both of them. Now, let's get over here to our newly named friend, Sunspot Air 3723. It's a reverse polarity sunspot, as are all of these, meaning we have a positive umbrio over a negative umbrio or white over black in the southern hemisphere. It's almost like every complex sunspot that comes around is reverse polarity now, and that happens more so towards our solar maximum, which they say we're headed too quickly. Now, they took this at 1306 and they got a lot of action at that time. I believe that's right about when that sunspot spat out that flare so we're getting a really good look here happenstance at soho 284 angstroms at our new friend 37 23 again old sunspot ar 3664 3697 which is now named 37 23 this is the other sunspot that we're worrying about because it's so complex and it's right there connected to Earth through the Parker Spiral Geomagnetic Connection. With that said, God bless you. Please share our video. Please subscribe. And always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.